From a Cisco perspective, that's forcing us to move up the stack from resource assurance to service assurance to product assurance to really customer satisfaction. And that's where Vitria comes in as a key partner for us. Right now, we see a real siloed approach. And those silos create slowdowns in responding to, detecting, fixing any customer experience impacting their service impacting issues. Most service providers today have no shortage of information about their networks. They've got all kinds of telemetry from devices. They've got all kinds of signals from existing assurance applications that they've had for years that are, that are generating events. The challenge is making sense of all of that information in a, a timely manner to ensure that they're offering high quality products to their customers and that they're, they're fixing faults as, uh, before their customers will even find out about them. We provide that, uh, that initial bridge and then we can mature that deployment and continue to take over more and more of the processes and automations. With the scale of networks today, and they're continuing to grow faster and faster every day, already past the tipping point of where humans can do that manually. So there's a, there's a need to add AI ops. There's all kinds of websites we use every day, um, but uh, it gets a lot easier to use the internet when you have um, another tool that aggregates, deduplicates, correlates, and, and presents all of that information in a consolidated way that's easier to consume, and then navigate into the correct tool to go solve the performance or fault management problem. We think of it as the aggregation layer at the top of the stack, just below the IT service management platform that the customer uses to handle customer problems. Vitria has developed their AI ops product you know, in partnership with some key service provider joint customers at Cisco. They've had stellar references. They're live in production and they're playing their role assuring the, those networks. Across the entire network, that actually allows us to get to automation. And if you have a siloed view and you don't have observability across the entire layer, the entire ecosystem, I can't see how you get to automation. What you can automate with art artificial intelligence really today is analyzing the current state of the network, right? And that's, that's really where AI ops is today. It's, it's on that performance management, that fault management uh, of the network and, and just really crunching all of the data that's available mm -hmm. so that you then have a better situation report for the network operators who, who then apply human intelligence to, to analyze what change to make.